see one or two of those ads about how a little extra testosterone can put some spark back in your love life. Almost 3% of men age 40 and up have been prescribed testosterone therapy. A recent study, though, links testosterone to heart trouble. Kristen Anderson's live with more on this study. Good morning, Kristen. Hi, it's really an interesting study and we're at a gym this morning because this is a very natural way to boost and increase your testosterone. Others though, aside from just working out, do get testosterone supplements and specifically testosterone therapy, how it relates to uh, heart disease and other issues I want to talk to Dr. Hong about. Uh, so this study that came out is pretty interesting. Can you break it down a little bit? Yeah, we have a new study in Journal of American Medical Association, a fairly prestigious journal, and it's showing that testosterone supplement use can be linked to an increased risk of heart disease. So that seems a little a little scary because people take uh, you know go through testosterone therapy for a number of reasons, right? What are some of those reasons? Well, we know that testosterone deficiency does happen, especially as we age. That is actually part of the normal aging process. However, for certain men, it might be reasonable to take a supplement to actually boost that testosterone, especially if you're having very low energy, maybe a low sex drive, you're losing muscle mass, and these are some of the reasons why we might use sub testosterone supplements. So one sees a study like this and, you know, it, it's a little shocking, it's a little sobering. Uh, what do you make of it? Yeah. I mean, I, I love being here in the gym as you see people really naturally getting their testosterone on. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, the other part of all this is we see a lot of people in Scottsdale who are young, who probably are not needing to be on testosterone supplementation. They may be taking it, maybe unregulated. And this is a good study to remind us that everything has a benefit and a risk. Yeah. And in this situation, we just need to know what the risks are for you individually as a person so that you're not doing something that might be harmful as well as beneficial. I, I'm glad you brought that up because I've heard, that, like as far as bodybuilders or someone in the fitness industry, you know, uh, for a career taking testosterone therapy to burn fat faster, to increase sex drive when it's not necessarily a problem. Yeah, well, again, some of the unregulated uses of testosterone really do concern me as a urologist here in Phoenix because I do see a lot of it. For example, I've seen a lot of young guys come in and they're jacked, they're on testosterone, but they're not getting it regulated. And by the way, they're infertile because of their testosterone use. And then they want to go have kids. That's a huge problem. So these are things that we need to watch out for. The heart study, just a reminder for us, it's actually not necessarily the best done of studies, but it's just a reminder for us. We need to be mindful of the risks of what we do. Okay, so advice. Uh, you know, a few words of advice to someone watching that maybe have this story is raising a red flag of sorts. What would you say? Eat healthy, get in the gym like these people, and uh, and talk to your doctor. And make sure that you're staying safe. Dr. Hong, thank you very much. I think that was really insightful and interesting, and we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right, I'll send it back to you guys. All right, Chris.